everyone, it's Lexi, and I'm going to be doing my favorites video. Um, first off, I'm so sorry for being gone for like two months, I think it is, and I've really missed um, doing videos. It feels really weird sitting in front of the camera right now talking again, but um, I feel like I just needed some time to focus on school and work. Um, I worked a lot, and now that school's over for a little while, I'll be able to do more videos, of course, but um, I'm really sorry about that. Also, you may notice my hair color is a different color, but <laughs> you haven't. This is probably the only video that I will have this hair color because by the time I have this up, um, I will probably already be a blonde again. So sorry about not letting you know, but I'm not really crazy about me being a brunette just because my personality is just. You know, it's just not me. I don't know. Anyways, enough about that. I'm going to do my favorites video. And I hope you guys enjoy. And once again, I'm so sorry for being gone for two months. And I got them all in a bucket right here. And I have really great products this month. Um, I actually have my first MAC product. And I'm really excited about that. And um, for my face product, like acne product, I only have one. And it's the Clear Seal, the little pads. And it's called Rapid Action Pads, and that's what the bottle looks like. And they're just, I'll show you what it looks like. They're just little pads that have the medication, and it's kind of like a flimsy thing. And it has little holes, kind of. And what you just do after you wash your face and stuff, you just um, kind of rub this all over your face, and it just treats your um, breakouts and stuff. Really have enjoyed that. Okay, now to makeup and foundation. I'm going to get this stuff out first. Okay, for my foundation, of course, is the same as it's been for probably like three or four months. And it's the Revlon Color Stay. And I'm the combination to oily skin. And in the color 180 Sand Beige. This foundation is like the only foundation that I find works perfectly for me. Okay, and then concealer, um, I'm sorry about the way this looks, it's just the packaging, I hated it, but the concealer was amazing, and of course it's the um, Instant Age Rewind Concealer, and it has the sponge applicator, which I didn't use, I didn't like that at all, but um, I did like the product itself, and I will probably even buy that again, even though the packaging is not my favorite. Um, the two powders that I have for this month, I've been switching, like, um, this one probably is my ultimate favorite just because it does mattify, like it says, Dream Matte, and, um, it's not translucent, but it does have a little color to it, which I do like, and then this one is the Rimmel Stay Matte, and it's a translucent powder, it's really white, so, I really do love both of and I'm gonna go ahead and do the eyeshadows, <clears throat> Everybody has heard about these, I'm sure, and I only have three of them just because I bought the three I knew I'd probably use, and it's the color tattoos. Um, I have the one that's kind of a gray color. It's called Audacious Asphalt, and the really pretty gray, sterling gray. you yeah, really pretty. <laughs> and I use that one more, um, like for smoky eye or something, and then I have the brown color and it's called Bad to the Bronze, like that, and it's a really pretty bronzy. I like using these as like eyeliner and putting like eyeshadow on top of that, which makes it stay really um, good. Okay, the next one is the white, and I love, this is at my actual favorite, and it's called Too Cool, and it's just a pure white. I use this every day. But, along with this, I have my e.l.f. eyeshadow, and I pair these two together, and it's in Angelic, and this is just kind of like, um, kind of like a pigment, I guess. You can't really see it, but it's very, very shimmery, and I, like, put it, you probably can't see it, but I put it, like, in my tear duct, and it, like, makes your eyes look so, like, it makes them pop. It makes them pop. Okay, and then for my mascara and eyeliner, I haven't changed it all month. Like, I'm in love with this combination. Okay, for mascaras, I'm using my Falsies Flared. 
Um, I usually, it doesn't, I don't do it in a certain order. Like one day I'll put this on first and then the next day I'll use the other one. But um, together just, they're just really good. And the other one is the CoverGirl um, Lash Perfection. Both in black. Um, but yeah, these two together are really nice. And then if you want to add a waterproof um, mascara, I use the, let me get it, the Lash Blast Volume. And this really works. I really enjoyed using this when I went to the beach. And then for eyeliners, I have my two pencil liners, which are the Maybelline Unstoppable. And one is in brown, or one is in espresso, and then the other one is in Oxy, I think. On Oxy, I don't know how to pronounce it. But these are very good eyeliners. They do stay on, and I love to use them on the waterline. Um... And the next one I use on top of my um, other eyeliner is called Milani Tech or Eye Tech Extreme. It's a liquid eyeliner, and the point looks like that, and it's really nice. I love this, and it stays on. It's waterproof, so or I think it is. It's in the blackest black. Okay, and then for the lips and nails, um, I have a lot of nail products and um. I have a lot of favorite nail colors, so I didn't really have one for this month. I've really been wearing more of the French manicure look. And um, when I do wear like nail polish, I use this. And Nicole from, I don't know how to pronounce her username, <laughs> in Guerrero, I think. It, something Guerrero. Her name's Nicole. And I watch her like religiously. And she, like, said something about this in one of her videos. And it's the three minute artificial. It's like, 10 times better than gel power or something and it's my nail aid and you can get this at Walmart and it's like a pink color I usually put this on afterwards she said that she applied it before she put her nail color on just because it came off better and for mine it didn't do that but I do use it afterwards and it does put a really shiny coat on so I'll have used that all month okay for lips before I put my makeup on, I usually use like a lip balm, and I've been obsessed with these lip smackers. I know it's kind of like childish, but these are really moisturizing and really like smooth, and I've been using the one in bubblegum. Can you see that? And it just is pink. So, just put that on before I put my makeup on just so it keeps my lips moisturized. Okay, and then my favorite lip combination I've um, been using this entire month, which I'm wearing right now, which you probably can't see because I'm using my iPhone to film this, but um, my first MAC product is the lipstick, and it's in Snob, which um, I was really surprised to get this color just because it's totally not me. It's more of a purplish, you probably can't see that, purplish pink, but I really love it. It's a matte, and it's a, no, it's a satin, but it's kind of more matte. And I pair it, why am I sighing? I'm like out of breath. Okay. And then <laughs> I pair it with Bonnie Bell Lip Lock and Mocha Mousse. And this color with this, or like, this like it's, I just put these two together and they're amazing. They work fabulously together. So this adds more shine because I don't like matte lipsticks really because they kind of wash me out. But these together are really good. And I've used that all month long. I think I got them in March actually. But I've used them all the time. Okay, and that's pretty much it for my favorites. Um, for our jewelry, I've been wearing my Hello Kitty watch and I got it from Sears. And then my little twist, I don't know what you call these bracelets. What They're popular around here. I don't know, around my town. And it's <clears throat> some kind of survival band. I don't really know. And then my Jesus bracelet, which I got from Claire's, and I love because it's pink. And then I actually got my ear pierced. I don't know if I ever told y'all. And I've been loving my new studs that I got from Claire's. So that's pretty much it. I don't have anything else to update on, except I'm getting my hair back blonde today, and I'm really excited. Um, I'm not sure what time I'll have this up by, because I'm probably, I'm working tonight, so yeah. But thank you so much for watching and staying with me. And I promise you more videos here soon. And leave suggestions down below like what you'd like to see. And I'll see y'all really soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.